What I'm about to show you is so hot, I am literally sweating buckets. Maybe it's just Texas. Hey everybody and welcome to Dad Bought RC. We're out here in my garage on the first 100 degree day of the year here in Texas. It is super hot and humid. And to go with all that heat, I have something really, really awesome to share with you. So I've been working on Project Blue Steel for a little while now. It is an Extra Speed XJ hard body setup mounted to an Axial SEX 10-2 chassis. But today we're not here to talk about the looks or any of the cool electronic stuff that makes this thing go zoom. Instead, we're going to talk about some other really, really awesome electronics that are crammed under this thing. And by that I mean the Superscale 2020 kit that I have crammed into this awesome little rig. And if you don't know what that is, the Superscale kit actually gives your RC truck the ability to shift its weight in real time just like a one-to-one -one scale truck does on the rocks. And this kit does its magic with a small little development Arduino board and a gyroscope that actuates some servos to make your suspension act like the real thing. It is really, really cool and I am super excited to have this in this project rig. So let's take a look under the hood of Project Blue Steel where I have this kit installed. As we raise up the hood, you can see that there are a couple of servos up front right on top of the shock tower. And those are the front suspension actuators. I went with DS servo for these because they're nice and strong and they come with metal servo horns, which I am pretty happy with. Now, you do have to 3D print some brackets. This bracket is kind of a mix of a design that came with the kit for the SEX 10 2 chassis and one that I redesigned to get a little bit more clearance because this extra speed body does not afford a lot of clearance with the shallow hood depth here. So I'm getting about as much clearance as you can get. It does use some of the factory shock towers here as part of the mounting setup. Uh, it's a really well thought out system. The next component which is super necessary, it's kind of hiding here in the side. I'm using the Castle 20 Amp BEC Pro to run all of these servos because there are two up front but there are also two in the rear here. Two identical servos in another 3D printed bracket. Uh, so it's a lot of amps to draw when this thing is going full force and moving all these servos up and down. So you do have to run a 20 amp BEC to get there. Now in the rears I'm using DS servo as well. I really want to match the front. You don't want to mix and match your servos there. And on top of this rear bracket sits the Super Scale 2020 development board box. This box has some knobs and switches that let you set up some preferences that you want and from there it uses an algorithm to determine what the truck should look like in that full tilt. Alright, so we've taken a look at all the components that make the system work. Now let's see it in action. Let's watch what happens when I shift the weight on Project Blue Steel. You'll notice as I drop the rear wheel, the weight shifts to one side and the servos actually move the entire shock to make it bounce side to side like a real rig would. Let me get a front shot of this. So again, as I move the weight distribution here, you see as it, it rocks side to side as I move the weight distribution by picking up a wheel and dropping it. If I pick up a wheel and keep it, it does the same thing. So with the hood lifted up, you can see as I drop it, those servo horns are actually turning to compensate. And it's not doing it so much because I have this raised. But they're actually turning to compensate that suspension wheel. It's a really, really cool, well thought out system. It's a great little dev board to be doing it on with a gyroscope. Uh, shout out to Superscale 2020 for developing such a cool scale system for our little tiny trucks. So if you were out to get the most scale appearance out of your little tiny truck rig, this is definitely something to take a look at. If you have a larger body that has room underneath for a development box like that, if you have the access and ability to get 3D printed parts for the servo mounts, and if you have the technical aptitude to plug in a USB cable and do a little bit of flashing from your computer, this kit is totally up your alley. It is really not hard to figure out. Once you understand what all the bells and whistles do, there's great support from the people who make this board on Superscale 2020. Hit them up on Instagram. They have been great to me, helping out to get worked through some functions on this thing. So if you're looking for the most ultimate scale appearance out of your tiny truck suspension, definitely go check out Superscale 2020. Let me know how you like it. 
Let me see it on your rigs. I'm definitely interested to see what you come up with to implement this kit. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with Project Blue Steel and a lot of the other projects we have in the DadBot RC garage. And in the comments below, let me know what other kind of things you'd like to see go into Project Blue Steel. We do have a couple of other things in the works like a roof rack and some sliders, obviously going to need the sliders. But let me know what kind of other stuff you'd like to see come onto this XJ. I am super excited to get this XJ build underway and there will be some more videos on the channel very soon featuring this XJ build. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time we will catch you later.